find some binomial coefficients, kind of using our little shortcut we just learned, right? So, what does 7C3 mean? Can anybody tell me what that means? What the 7 means? Oh, come on. 7X's? Not 7X's. 7, X's, seven, seven, seven total. total. Oh. 7 total, and the 3 means what? 3Y's. Three three oh. So, now what's the shortcut way to do this? Go look at it. Start with 7 and write how many numbers? 3. 3. 7 times 6 times 5 over what? 1, 2, 3. 1 times 2 times 3. And what's nice? What's 3 times 2? 6. 6 would cancel that 6. What's 7 times 5? 3. Wow. Wow. And this, this looks hard, but when you do it that way, it's like, that's really what? Easy. Easy. So look at the next one. 7C4, right? 7C4. Mm -hmm. 7, C4. 7, 6, 5. Five, Seven four. times six times five times four, the four of them, and then what? One, two, four three. coming back. Guess what? Fours are going to what? Cancel. And what's three times two? A six. Again. So what's seven times five again? Thirty-five again. And remember how we talked about symmetry? How the numbers go up and they turn to what? Come back. Those are probably two middle numbers that were what? Next to each other because they're what? Although sometimes they don't have to be next to each other because the numbers are going to go back up and then back what? Seven. Down. It's a 7C3 and a 7C4, right? Okay. All right, good. Okay. Um.